I had a moment on the Pivot podcast that I didn't even know was an emotional moment because it just breezed by. On that show, they encourage you to like um, pick winners and losers in business and tech and politics or what have you. And I was kind of scrambling. I didn't been paying attention to a lot. I wasn't like looking at all the S1 filings this week to pick a corporate winner. So I, I spoke from just here and I shared with my IG live people, you may remember little neighbor girl, little neighbor girl who noticed my new sneakers a few weeks ago. And she ex enthusiastically greeted me by name, Baratunde, are those new shoes? <laughs> the joy of just remembering that moment. And so I shouted out Lone Neighbor Girl without outing her name because, you know, again, unlike many of the platforms I'm streaming on right now, I respect her privacy. And uh, I got asked some questions about it later, actually by a reporter. You'll probably see a piece written. Who knows what gets cut or not. So I'll just tell you some of what happened. She asked, why was it so meaningful? To you why was that like a profound moment for like a little neighbor girl to recognize your different shoes and uh this was a little white girl who knows how to say my name properly baratunde she like greets me enthusiastically and when she saw me she saw the one thing to her that mattered that was different, my shoes. My shoes stood out to her. And she put it in the phone. Did you get new shoes? Why, yes, little neighbor girl, I did. Thank you for noticing the most important part of me. We live in the same neighborhood, much like many of us live in the same nation, yet many of us feel invisible on a regular basis, unseen, unheard, unrespected, unloved, unprotected. Never more than during a pandemic when the top of our government throws up his hands and says, this isn't even a threat, it's fake, it's a hoax. Don't forget that. With all the brainwashing and all the propaganda and all the bullshit from this week, none of it matters. None of those stories matter. None of the petty use of the term Democrat instead of Democratic matters. The Democrat party, you petty, small-minded plebe. No, what matters is you had one job, to protect us, and you failed. And we're at 180,000 people unseen, unheard, unloved, unprotected, invisible, gone in their own country. And within that invisibility, there is further invisibility. People who walk around unseen, unheard, unprotected, unloved until someone notices us. And when they notice us, they don't notice our sweet new kicks. They don't notice how we're flexing on this dope turquoise on our feet. No, they notice the story in their head where we're a threat to them. And they call the police and try to rain down hell on us. This little neighbor girl reminded me that I'm a fucking human being. And this is a very difficult week to remember that because this place keeps trying to remind us of something else. And we have to assert for ourselves that we exist, that we matter, that we are deserving of love and protection and acknowledgement and attention for reasons other than fear. This Republican Party, this Weimar Republic, this Vichy regime, 
is undeserving of this land. They dishonor all sacrifice that has come before, voluntary and forced. They insult the founders and the documents that we have failed but tried to live up to. They render too many of us invisible and they lack legitimacy and we must remove them from power. We must. This is not a game. There are no guarantees in this. There is no guarantee that we live in a republic, that we have a functioning democracy, that norms are adhered to, much less laws and rules. They do not care. In the week when 180,000 of us are dead, that we have counted, they insult their memories by hosting a super spreading viral event on our land, in our building, at our expense. Are you fucking kidding me? We do not get to treat this like another election. This is not that year. We are not playing that game. Everyone on that lawn is complicit in undermining this republic. They have declared themselves against this constitution. And they have co-signed on this criminal organization known as a family that has no right telling anybody about law and order. Are you kidding me, you walking violation of the Hatch Act and everything else? Are you kidding me, you tax dodging, philandering, non-vendor paying cheat of a family? Your charities are cheats. Your businesses are cheats. Your soul is decrepit and corrupt of integrity at this stage in the game. You don't get to lecture me about law and order. Your existence is chaos. This was not normal. This is not regular shit. We are not in regular order. So get your minds right. This is not, oh, I could, should I, maybe I should vote. Maybe I should talk. Maybe you should inhale. Does that feel voluntary to you? Or is it essential to your survival?